video footage. All right, guys, this is what we're doing today. Putting this concrete in for this apron. Putting plastic up on the house. Got a 74 or something foot trench drain. And that's what we're doing. Got wire mesh in it. 4,000 pound concrete. And we're putting color in it, a brown color. And that's what we're doing. Alright guys, we're getting the color weight out here. We got a little scale. And we'll put the color in that bucket. Get it weighed out. What you got there, Jimmy? Three? Yeah. We'll do my stuff in that bag. We're doing a brown color. Might want to unhook that hose completely. Okay. Let me know when it gets the hose. Alright. Hold on. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah. Right in there. Good? Yeah. That's it? That's 13 pounds of color? So it looks like. Give them more than anything. Still, like, still like 20 pounds. I want this brown, really brown. Yeah. Oh, a little more. Bouncing. Yeah, that's 20. That's a 21. Alright, so that's pretty much a three quarters of a bucket of colors. We'll try that and see what it looks like. Throw it in the truck and mix it up. Here's our stamps, guys. And the moon shoes. Heavy stone. Yeah, we got the moon shoes. Big biscuits on the job. Ready to rock and roll. Put some concrete down. Danny's here. What do you think, Danny? <laughs> Any words of wisdom? <laughs> Danny's like, I just want to get some sleep. <laughs> Yeah, we're, I haven't had much sleep. We both worked nights last night. So. But we'll get her done. Right, Jay? Yep. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Concrete truck went right by. Hopefully, we can flag them down and get them in here. They're closer to being on time today. Yeah, they're right on time today. Yesterday, they were an hour late. I wonder if it's the same dude camera biscuit don't fall and this camera right here yeah don't fall because yeah, he's putting the color in don't fall because i'm not supposed to try to climb on the truck oh you're supposed to do all this fun stuff oh there it goes you're getting it pretty good jay well that was all of it well it went right in there nice I tried to give her the business biscuit getting shit done 101 okay big biscuit That should be pretty brown. I don't out. think any of it's not inside. No, it all went right in. You didn't lose a drop of it. That's good. You did good, Big Biscuit. Oh yeah, she's going in. So now we're going to mix that color into that concrete, guys. That's what we're doing. We got the uh, Rural Hill. They're out of Watertown, New York. There's their number. Nice people. They need concrete. Watertown, Northern New York, call Rural Hill. They do only have rear load trucks. Uh, that's alright. This will be good for this job. Yesterday, not so much. Before the ICF wall yesterday on one of these trucks. This is a major pain. That's what we're going to pull it alongside of here and work our way right down through to the end.
Hey guys, Bondo here. So I'll walk you through what we're doing here today. We got a um, apron that goes all the way across the front of this building here, this house, and across this guy's garage. Um, we had taken out, we did a demo here, took out all this old concrete that was in here, and uh, we put a lot of nice material underneath there, crushed stone, and here we are going to pour this concrete today, and we're going to stamp it. If you stay with us, for a while we're going to end up stamping this concrete with a heavy stone stamp and uh, like I said earlier we got a brown color in here we put some integral brown in the truck and mixed it up and we're using a charcoal release agent today um, we're using a powder release agent we're going to sprinkle that powder on the concrete after we trowel it off and uh, we're going to stamp that color right into the surface um, that's my son Jason aka Big Biscuit on the on the bow float he's bow floating that's me that's doing all the screeding work there guys and if if you're new to my channel my name's ron bond my channel is called bondo built construction that's my company my channel is bondo built my um, company's bondo built construction um, everybody calls me bondo you guys that uh know me know we do a lot of concrete work guys so um, if you like that kind of stuff hit the subscribe button we do all kinds of concrete stuff, and we do a lot of uh, new Dura foundation work. Everybody likes that. So if you're into that kind of thing, like I said, hit the subscribe button for me. Um, and let's get back to the video here. We're just pouring this apron across here, and we got a little area here we're working on right now that's actually like a little, it's kind of like a half moon shape thing in the front of their house that they wanted. So it looks pretty cool. The customer really liked it so the reason we put a trench drain in here guys is because the the yard here is actually a little bit higher than this apron so you know we kind of pitched the slab out away from the house to the drain and then it kind of pitches a little bit back up to the edge so we kind of created a little bit of a low spot where that trench drain is that way any water that comes out the house will start heading in it'll hit that trench drain and any water that comes across the yard can actually run into that drain as well. And that's how we did that. And then there's like a hundred foot um, run off of this trench drain that runs way across his yard and runs to daylight. And uh, I got a video, a link up to the to this video on how we demoed this job. It was quite a lot of work demoing it. We did a lot of, took a lot of stuff out of here. It had a lot of stone underneath it and clay, um, big field stones. This place was built in uh, 1900, so uh, we had to put some sauna tubes and some Bigfoots under those post, post piers there, and uh, it was quite a job. So here we are, guys, a little close-up of what's going on. Uh, my buddy Danny's there with the gray sweatshirt on, magging the edges. That's me um, doing all the screed work and hitting the edges. We set a laser up, guys, and uh, that laser level, I'm checking along the edge here up against the house because you couldn't really put a snap chalk line there. There I am with the laser checking it. And I take a screed and hit it sideways like that, an 8-foot screed. That gives me my wet pad to work off of. And then I, I just got a 2x4 here. I'm working off the drain to the wet pad. And uh, that's about a half inch pitch there, guys. And then uh, it's also a half inch pitch back up to the edge of the form where Danny's working. Like I said, that created a little, kind of like a little fishbowl in there. So here I am uh, bow floating it real quick. You know, stay ahead on the bow float and it's a lot easier. Knock it down, bow float it. We're just filling it in. Like I said earlier, we were working out of a rear loader truck, which isn't too bad on something like this that's how we did this there I am again with the 8 footer get my wet pad drag it off just gotta keep working your way out it's kinda screeding along kicking the material in where my footprints are and staying ahead on my wet pad on the right hand side Biscuits in there hitting ahead of me a little bit now. And Danny on that on that one foot. It's one foot between that drain and the edge of that slab. And it's five foot. The rest of it's five foot. Here we are just finishing up, guys. Uh, 
with the pour, everything's done here. We're just trowing everything off. We both floated it, then we hit it with a funny float, which is just like a hand mag on a trowel, and it's got like a swivel head on it. I'm not, I'm not sure how much footage we got of that tool, but um, that worked really good. That'll knock out your bow float lines. I tried to reach what I could here along the edges, you know, kneeling along, just hitting what I can reach, smoothing it out. Here we are, we start to stamp it guys we're using uh, a little floppy stamp to do that section between the drain and the edge that's what I'm doing here we got on it quick enough so the concrete was still pretty soft and I could just kind of pat it in with my foot and that's Danny there ahead of me with some powder release agent I'm flipping this stamp every time guys I'm just turning it one turn as you watch here I'll pick it up and I'll turn it that keeps that pattern from being repetitive and uh, you know it just makes it look better if you keep setting it down the same way you're going to notice that pattern the, the grains that are in the stone so what we did here guys we just went along and did the whole edge of the pad and it was pretty easy with this little stamp to do between that drain and uh, the edge of the apron because it was only one foot so that that pad worked really good that little tiny one just have to be real careful stepping on it. I'll speed it up for you because, like I said, it's pretty repetitive, but that's what we did there. And we get to here and we're going around this post. Guys, these heavy stamp stones that we're using are what's called a seamless stamp because there's no lines to line up. When you're done with this pattern, it just looks like a big piece of broken slate or rock. It doesn't have any uh, distinctive pattern that you got to lock together or whatever. So you can turn these stamps any which way you want. A um, couple tips for you if you're doing seamless stamps is if you pay attention here, when I set the stamp down, I try to set it down really gently because if you set the stamp down too hard it's going to blow if you're using a powder release agent it'll just blow the powder right out from under the stamp and you'll actually see that when you're done it'll have kind of leave lines like like on the edges and stuff so um, we did this today it was a nice cool day so um, I never even took out my hand tamper I have a hand rubber hand tamper that when the concrete gets really hard you got to smack it down with that and sometimes when the concrete will surface dry on you, 
real quick because it's hot you smack it down with the hand tamper it'll actually blow the powder out from under it too so um, when it's cool like this the powder sticks real good to the concrete so you really don't have to worry about it too much but you don't like I said you don't want to slam that stamp down if you watch right here guys I'll set it down pretty easy make sure there's powder under it and then I'm just walking it off with these shoes I got these clown shoes that I'm using here Hit the other side. <laughs> other hand, dude. You can't do that. He's only good for one side. Yeah, I'm only a good dancer on one side. Not an ambidextrous dancer. An ambidextrous dancer. That's all you gotta do. Just hit him with a. He put a whole hour's worth of effort into that. He's not going to tell you even if it looks bad because you took him so long to do it. And then you had me groom it. I feel like I'm doing like a flare dance or something. Ring dance. You haven't used the tamper at all, have you? I know, not today, you know. I didn't even need it. Today for nothing. Wasting my gas got for my, nothing. Uh, got my clown <laughs> shoes trucks on. already on E. Got the clown shoes today to do it. Had the phone all charged up there, did a couple videos, and now it's down to nothing. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, doesn't take it, long, does it? No, it These goddamn phones. This is the one we've been looking for. Turn and burn. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. I found it too. Hello. Wilkie, nice. We can tell that because you can't with Fred. Tell all your friends about it. <laughs> <laughs> Right after next year, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're not doing no more this year. Oh. Yeah, oh, we, stamp. I don't think. I think this might be our last stamp, though. I like this stamp so much better. Uh, that one at Frank's not stamped? I don't think so. I think this is so much better. 
in the mother stand. If it's easier, I don't know, it looks better. Damn. We got her done. <laughs> Alright guys, that's what she looks like. Well, pretty nice. <clears throat> The drain works really well too. We we check that out when we hose it off. The water runs right out of it. Now if you've seen my other videos of what this looked like before, but major, major improvement. Did a bunch of uh, demo work here. We'll put some new supports under these pipes, under these big pipes. And also they did this garage floor too. Put that new garage floor in for them. There it is guys. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.